Hey guys, I'm taking one of my uh, afternoon strolls through the city. I'm in Farringdon in London, lovely part of town. It's Sunday, so it's pretty quiet and everyone's hiding away at home because of coronavirus fears. Speaking of fear, I wanted to talk about um, something I'm helping one of my clients through. And he is, because we, in, in a previous uh, meeting, we were talking about what he really wanted to create in his life, what kinds of exciting visions he wanted to create, what, what kind of uh, goals he wanted to have in his life. So he, he had an idea that was exciting for him and we let it kind of simmer for a week. And uh, he's getting back to me with very human uh, fears and self-doubts and a sense of resistance around having made this new commitment to something quite lofty, quite a stretch, right? So it's an exciting goal. And I always encourage myself and people I work with to set themselves interesting, juicy targets with big payoffs, not only financially, but spiritually, psychologically, and everything else. You want to be excited about the things that you're creating for yourself in your life. And you want those things to be in alignment with your inner being, your soul. Your soul has to kind of speak to it and say, yeah, this is what I would really love to do. But of course, once we have that vision in the picture and we can see it like a mountain in the distance on the horizon, we see this enormous task in front of us, suddenly the excitement, the passion for it starts to fade and we start to gather all these self-doubts and we get unconscious and we get in our minds and we think too much about all the difficulties that we are bringing on to ourselves in trying to succumb this mountain, this summit, and it just seems to be a huge challenge. And that's very human. I've been there many times. In, an, in being an ambitious fella, I've created lots of ambitious goals for myself that I have uh, failed to reach and uh, allowed myself to stall on because of the resistance around moving towards those things because it's scary, it's, you know, fears come up. So what we've got to do is understand that perhaps fear is not an indication of what not to do, but maybe it's an indication of what we should be doing. And rather than having this, this kind of uh, fearful relationship to fear, you know, we see fear, we feel it, we feel self-doubt, and we, we want to avoid it, we want to escape from it. We have a very unhealthy relationship with fear. The solution is to start having a more loving relationship with fear, to start realizing what fear is. And actually, fear is our misinterpretation of a form of excitement. And that excitement is coming from your... Sorry about the wind, guys. That excitement is coming out of knowing that you are doing something that's in alignment with what your soul wants for you, what your full potential is capable of doing. So we can see fear as excitement with uh, unnecessary thinking attached to it. And we want to actually, um, we want to see that what fear is actually telling us is that it's the right place to go. Because surely if we feel fearful about something, doesn't that mean that we care to get it right? We care deeply in us, in ourselves, that we want to get this thing right. When we're fearful about meeting someone new, a hot new girl, or making a project work, or landing a new client, we have this fear around it. We have a fear around approaching the opportunity because we want it to work. And wanting something to work means that we have a passion for it. We have an interest in making it happen. And in that respect, in that regard, um, because it's something that is that you are passionate about, that you're going to find energy through doing, energy will be feeding you through continuing to aim in that direction, it's worth doing. So you need to see fear as an indication of passion and you need to see that fearfulness, that self-doubt that you're getting around things as an indication that you are moving towards your zone of genius. Uh, Gay Hendricks talks about this in his book, The Big Leap, where many people might well be operating in their zone of excellence and, and many people fail to ever get beyond that because a zone of excellence is comfortable, you're doing well, but you're not in that area where you're continually growing, continually stretching, and when you stretch, that's where the genius really comes out. That's where the real meaning in life um, comes out of. Sorry about this wind again, it's just, uh, find, a, 
find a less windy spot here. Um, I'm sitting in a little bunker type thing. I hope this helps. So a couple of things that I told my client around these self-doubts that he was feeling and in a way to, to help him through it. So the first thing is knowing that when you feel fear, it's usually an indication of what you're passionate about and it's um, something worth pursuing because when you can lean into fear and let go into fear and actually do the things that you're scared about doing, you're going to be rewarded with courage, with, with aliveness, with a buzz that's going to feed into subsequent steps that you're going to take into that into that thing that's worth doing. You know, can you think for yourself, what, what are you currently scared of? Maybe it's an indication of what you need to be doing. Maybe it's your, you're in a demon that needs to be slayed. And when you can start pushing through fears more and more in life, you're going to ex experience what it's like to live in your zone of genius. So know that, that's gonna help you. That's gonna help you rather than avoid fear, it's going to make you realize that actually this is where I need to be looking, this is what I need to be exploring. It's this cave that I need to be heading into. I don't need to be sidestepping this cave because the cave has all the gems in it, okay? So there's that. The next thing you need to do is realize that, that um, the biggest mountains, to summit them, to get to the top of any, any mountain, you need to break it down. And every mountain, theoretically, is made up of thousands and thousands of very simple, small steps. So if you're feeling fearful about something, it's probably because you haven't broken it down and you haven't got clarity on what it is you need to do right now. So rather than being in the future and being in your head and being fearful about how big the mountain is, kids, all right, good timing with the children, love it. So we've got wind and kids. There's always something new in this city. Um, yeah, break, break it down, break the task down. You, you gotta, you gotta make things easy for yourself. But this is a really enlivening idea is, that I often forget. It's when there's something big and challenging in front of you that you know you need to do, break it down into the simplest of steps. Make the next step easy. You don't need to push yourself so much through major obstacles all the time. You can make things easier for yourself. So that's another, another thing that's going to make you more able more effective at moving towards your fears and moving towards those challenges that are worth doing. Um, I guess that's about it really. <laughs> there was a, possibly another idea, but I may hold that back and give it to you in another video. But that's plenty to be thinking about right now. It's, you know, use fear as an indication of what to do. Um, and when you feel that self-doubt, know that you're leaning into your edge. You're getting close to that edge which is going to reward you with expansion when you can overcome it. And when I say overcome, I just mean moving through it and you can take easy steps to move through it. And if you feel resistance on the way, do what so few people do, which is to let go. Be open to what you experience rather than closing up. Everyone closes up. We stop breathing. If we feel uncomfortable, many people's reaction is to just hold our breath and get tight. And of course, you're not very effective in that state. You're much more effective if you can let go and you can get out of mind and into presence, be conscious with what's happening and uh, ease yourself into it. So make things easier for yourself. This is probably the thread that I'm weaving through this whole thing is like, we make things harder for ourselves by putting pressure on ourselves and you're not doing yourself any favor by running away from those, those things that create self doubt in you because that's usually an indication of where you gotta go. That's where your real life your sense of aliveness is going to come from it's by doing these things but you can of course do these things and make them easier for yourself break it down lean into the fear let go and see if you can have fun doing it as well hope that helped guys love to hear your comments as always like subscribe and do share and i will see you in the next video guys